Thanks for staying with us. We have Uche Okuro from Port Harcourt giving us some updates live from Port Harcourt. Uche, what's going on? Stand by. Yes, go ahead, Uche. Tell us what's going on at your end. All right, right now, as you can see behind me, the protest has begun. The procession started at about uh, at about 8.30. The protest commenced at about 8.30 a.m. from a particular part of the town where we call the Port Harcourt Pleasure Park. And from there, the crowd began their march along the Port Harcourt Abba Expressway. And right now, they took a break. Uh, they made a stopover at uh, the Federal Secretariat Complex, which is just by my right. Uh, they are trying to send their message to uh, the government officials that, you know, they are, uh, to, say, to make their demands known uh, at this particular location to the federal government. This is the Federal Secretariat. As you can see, this the entire lane of the Port Harcourt Abba Expressway has completely been taken over by the protest. Uh, traffic is, uh, uh, it is currently being diverted from this part of the road to other parts of, uh, to, uh, to, to, to other areas to allow a residents go um, to and fro. But I have just uh, one of the uh, here who would tell me uh, the reason why he has insisted on coming out this morning despite calls from different quarters for residents to share off the protest. Uh, good morning to you. Just kindly introduce yourself. Victor um, PHS Press, a logistic company in Port Harcourt. All right, so why are you still out this morning? I understand that uh, you know, a lot of persons have been calling on residents to shelf the protest, to embrace dialogue and all that. But this morning, you are still here. What exactly uh, are, are your reasons? Okay, first, I don't have anywhere else to because I'm moving out of job. My company have shut down due to the high cost of um, transportation. I run on FMCG, so we can't even keep the company afloat anywhere to go than to stay here and um, tell the government my plea, tell them what I'm going through. You understand? Like, I, I expect, I expect, I've not heard from the president. Yes, I did not vote for him, but he's the president. I've not heard from him for the past one year. All I've been saying is, essay this. I want to hear the president talk, address fundamental issues. Let me know that he's feeling our pain. That's why I'm here. Okay, do you have any fears? Uh, you know, uh, in the build-up to this protest, we've heard a lot of comments about uh, this protest will be hijacked, this protest will be infiltrated, this protest will be violent. As you are, you're here this morning, do you have any such concerns? Do you have any such fears? All right, so um, I don't have any because I know that Portaco people are peaceful people. If there is any hijack it is not from us wherever it's not from us nobody that is hungry nobody that is here who want to cause violence however if you if you do something like that and everybody goes out then people that want to do protests will come back right here since seven o'clock we've been here and you can see nobody's with arm nobody's with bottle we just have like they are trying to tell the government that so i'm not scared at all but however if anything happens too we're still here because it's better i, it's better I die on the streets than die at home okay, okay lastly lastly from me uh, uh What's your assessment of the conduct of security agencies so far? Any, any concerns? Uh, what's your assessment of how they've been able to conduct themselves in providing security for this uh, outer? All right, to be fair, they've been nice. You can see them around protecting us. Even a truck of um, policemen came and they were healing us to show that they are in solidarity. So, so far, so good. Everything is going fine. All right, thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, you've just heard from one of the guys here who uh, is participating in this uh, uh, peaceful protest for good governance. And, uh, of course, many people are saying that they, are, they want the government to do all they can do, all they should do to end uh, the hunger in the land. So this, this is the situation from the Port Harcourt Abba Expressway, right in front of the Federal Secretariat, where protesters have taken a break. Any moment from now, the procession will continue to other parts of the city. Very much, um, Uche, for that update.